Hello and welcome to my channel. So in this video I'm going to do a reading for the Libra personality for the month ahead of June. So looking at major themes coming up for you, big breakthroughs, things to look forward to and guidance to navigate the month of June. So for this reading I am going to use the Alistair Crowley Thoth Tarot deck and I'm also going to use the Angel Guide Oracle by Kyle Gray and if you like either of these decks, the links for those will be in the description below. So without further ado, having a look at the major themes for Libras in the month of June, please. Libra for June. What are the big themes? Good old shuffle. Thank you. Have that one. Oh, interesting. Mm. One more card, please, and then I'll show you them. Oh. Okay, interesting. So, first card we've got here is Two of Discs Change. Having a look at that yourself and seeing what comes through for you. What are you picking up on? I always encourage you to take in what you're getting as well. Then we've got here the tower. So having a look at that again, seeing what comes through. And finally, we have Princess of Cups. Okay, so these first two, are speaking a similar language to me. Uh, what I'm really getting here, we've got change and change. <laughs> so they kind of speak, they have different messages, but there's a rhyme between the two. So what I'm getting with this one is that two of disc often speaks of being quite busy, having your plate quite full, juggling lots of different like things. So yeah, spinning lots of plates, juggling many balls at the same time. So being quite busy. We've got the Jupiter glyph in Capricorn. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a Capricorn glyph there. Jupiter being the planet of plenty, of abundance, of optimism, of a lot, <laughs> just a lotness, bigness in the sign of Capricorn, often to me indicates of like a need to get structures in place because Capricorn rules structures, it rules limitations, it rules systems, it rules organization. So when there's Jupiter in the mix, it's like, there's lots going on and you're going to need to like get organized to make sure that you can balance all of these different plates that you'll be spinning. And it can also speak of things changing, things sort of but getting busier because you've got more things kind of going on to so change. And with the tower here as well, the tower really speaks of this has been coming up quite a lot actually in um, all the other readings that I've been doing, but particularly for air signs. So Gemini, this came up as well, where the tower speaks of destruction. So this is actually the Mars's card. If you see, that's the Mars glyph there. And Mars in this context is the planet of destroying things so that new things can be created and put in its place, if that makes sense. So I don't think of it as being... It can be in shadowy negative destruction, but the tower is often here when we've been holding on to something that no longer serves us and it's trying to remove things that no longer fit. So this again feels like a bit, especially a theme for air signs at the moment where it's like the question of inquiries, what are we still holding on to that doesn't fit anymore, that doesn't make sense for us anymore? And the tower will appear if we're not paying attention to the nudges of like, that's not fitting, that's not aligning anymore. And it needs to go so that we can step into our highest potential. And for some of you, it's like there is still a kind of holding on by the skin of your teeth. That's not really the expression. <laughs> it's kind of like that, but it's more like, 
clinging on to the last thing like I don't want to let go and it's like the tower's here to say like it's time to let go it's time to move on it's time to step into your highest potential is what I'm really hearing with this and we're really seeing this a lot because we've got um a lot of Jupiter energy at the moment in the, in an air sign so it kind of feels like it affects air signs even more than everybody it affects everybody of course but air signs in particular um and those with Gemini placements but we've also got Pluto in the mix and Pluto is the planet of destruction, the planet of death and rebirth and, and starting again and removing that, which is no longer kind of aligned anymore. So there might be, it doesn't feel like it's necessarily going to be the easiest month for Libra, to be honest, <laughs> um, because we've also got the, the, the card of like, lots of change lots of like busyness and, and being having our hands full okay so we've also got here interestingly like quite a different energy which is princess of cups so this card to me offers like cups speaks of emotional wellness fulfillment well-being um and the princess can speak of like a beginning of something here because it's like earlier in the stages so I need to maybe establish new wellness routines is kind of what I'm getting from this or maybe developing like a sort of creative practice to help keep you grounded and to help keep you sort of like feeling honestly like with you being a Libra I feel like your ruler is Venus and it feels like Venus energy so like coming back to like think practices that allow you to be more in pleasure be more in um yeah just like soothing yourself through this because you've got so much change and maybe tower moments if you've ever heard of tower moments it's like a tower moment is very much the feeling of like your job is being taken away like you've been made redundant like that would be like a tower moment so to speak so if that sort of stuff's going on and that's how it manifests for you then having some practices that allow you to sort of stay sane is what i'm hearing honestly <laughs> um and yeah feeling kind of nourished and taken care of okay so let's see what else we've got here let's look up big breakthroughs for libra this month ah interesting so four of discs power now this card often speaks of well a few things but the thing that's jumping out the most to me actually is stability fours in tarot so this is a four um are a place of stability of comfort of like yeah structure and with this card in particular it's the capricorn card again so we've got another capricorn influence there's really something here about a need for structures being organized organizing the chaos because it does feel like it's going to be a bit chaotic um and with this being a breakthrough it's like maybe it actually has been quite hard to develop certain practices and structures. And this month, you're gonna see that coming through a little bit more and feeling more powerful in general, if that's been a bit of a struggle because this is a breakthrough. Yeah, there's something about, let me just tune into that for a second. So lots of change, lots of upheaval. But I think it's going to allow you to feel very powerful. And you are going to have the systems in place to allow this to happen more easily. So it's not adding more pain to pain, if that makes sense. OK, Ooh. something to look forward to for Libras, please. Yeah, again, Knight of Discs, structure, stability. So actually it's interesting because we've got the tower which feels chaotic, but something to look forward to is it could also be speaking to, because um, these feel like similar, they're both discs. They're both a place of security, of stability within the discs. It's not chaotic at, at, in these stages. 
but it could also speak to having like financial stability so maybe something to look forward to is your finances feeling more secure so you have a more sense of security in general and that's like something to look forward to because maybe it hasn't felt secure but now you're going to see a little bit more yeah keep getting stability despite the chaos stability despite the chaos interesting which might mean that you find it easier to navigate the chaos of it because it's like I know it's like this trust that actually things are okay and this is happening for my highest good rather than feeling like afraid or like going too much into the fear of it all okay so guidance to navigate the month of june for libras please it's like it really feels like you've got this that's kind of what it is it's like the more i look at it it's like we've got a king or a knight knights in this deck are kings essentially it's very similar um you've got a busy full plate and things are going to be taken away but you you're going to be able to handle it like you're powerful and you know your own power now that's what it really feels like but there is definitely a need to take care of your well-being this this is the little reminder here of like just taking care of yourself through this as well not not neglecting your self-care important okay guidance please okay here we've got four of wands completion celebrating how far you have come again we've got another four so fours speaking of this place of stability of looking back of reflection of seeing how far you've come i really like this card i always think to me it speaks of like yeah um a moment of victory a moment of like yeah resting in the knowing that you have come really far like I feel like for some of you you either really already know how powerful you are and you're just like like able to manifest because you're so in touch with your power or it is about remembering how powerful you are and getting into the energy of like knowing that you can handle this that you've got this that you are so more than capable than you could possibly imagine like that's what it really feels like because we've got so many discs here um yeah it's a lot of discs lots of emphasis on your material world on your finances maybe career changes for some of you it's career changes because we've got this but it's like welcomed change that you've wanted or like needed maybe it's more needed for some of you as opposed to wanted you might might be fighting it a little bit <laughs> um but yeah like just really seeing how capable you actually are this month. And, you, and again, I think some of you already know it and you're just like stepping into that more and more and some of you are going to step into it and like and need to remember, 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 like that, that was like an important word, a remembrance. Like, I have got this, of course I've got this. I'm, I'm capable, I've got that, yeah, mm, yeah like that okay so i'm going to use the um angel guide oracle for some additional guidance for the month of june for libra please but yeah i need to celebrate and need to see how far you've come libra Okay, that's one. I get um, a few more and then I'll show them too. Yep, 
That one, thank you. One more, please. Oh, okay. There's two, they, they both want to come out. Yeah, okay. Interesting. First one we've got here, listen deeply. Yes. It feels to me that this card is here because it's about really, really trusting yourself, trusting the guidance that you are receiving at this time. Because I feel like for some of you, you're not completely trusting the direction that life is trying to take you. Because maybe there's some fear of like, yeah, but what if I can't do this? What if like, that's a mistake? got that kind of energy and it's like now is the time to really trust and go all in is what I'm hearing go all in because we also have here opportunity and change opportunity and change opportunities coming in things changing but in order to receive the new we have to let go of the old we have to let go of the old identity we have to strip away that that's in the way <laughs> you know like it's how can you, like say, for example, you know, you wanted a new relationship, or so, or like a fulfilling relationship, partnership. How can you step into that if you're still in the old one that isn't working anymore? It's that kind of thing. So listening deeply to what you know to be true and trusting yourself. Um, okay, so here we've got power and intention. Again, this power theme. Power like being very directive and again like if you look at this one it's similar isn't it there's a real rhyme here of like stepping into your power knowing how powerful you are and taking charge of yeah taking charge of your life knowing that you've you can handle it feels quite masculine in some ways actually it's interesting and then finally we've got here vulnerability and freedom and I think this is here because there's, you're being asked to be courageous this month. There is a need for courage, a need to, yeah, like stand for what is true. And without, we don't have courage without vulnerability and vulnerability, allowing ourselves to feel vulnerable, allowing ourselves to feel the fear creates freedom. We're moving towards freedom. It's like, and like, what I'm getting here is like true North Star, you know, moving towards the true North Star this month. It's exciting. It, it, it doesn't feel super easy with the tower here and this here, but it feels very like if you can go with it, you're going to see like huge upgrades and huge shifts in your life that you do want. But yeah like sometimes what we say we want all of this stuff but we actually have to like go through the the difficulty of the the vulnerability allowing ourselves to feel vulnerable allowing ourselves to feel afraid allowing ourselves to take risks taking risks um does create vulnerability so it's both and it's like it's expansive it's beautiful it's amazing and it's like vulnerable but that's okay and it's just trusting it staying with it staying the course and going with going with the flow of it all surrendering to life surrendering to what your soul and your higher self is calling you towards rather than the ego self that wants to keep you safe okay Woo! big month for you i'm excited for you though um <laughs> so thank you so much for watching that i hope that was helpful and um, if you have enjoyed it Clicking like lets me know you're enjoying this content. Commenting, letting me know how it's all going for you. And if you're not sure what to put, just leave a little heart emoji. Um, and if you subscribe to this channel, then you'll get more of this content going through. I believe you can also press the little bell if you want to get notifications. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye.